Radio TV Phono Nut here, and I was going to do an unboxing on this radio, but actually I did an unboxing video on this radio, but I, I got careless and did one of those stupid things and erased the memory card, so <laughs> there won't be an unboxing, but I'll show you how it was boxed up. What we have here is a Zenith Model 5R312 from about 38 or 39. I've been wanting one of these radios for 30 years, ever since I've been collecting, but the prices were always too expensive. Now, the brown, unpainted Bakelite version is the more common one. This white painted version doesn't turn up that often, but when this one turned up on eBay for a price I could live with, I broke my no Bakelite rule and bought it based on the feedback. There were several feedback comments praising the seller for his quality packing. Well, I will say this radio was packed better than some I've gotten, and it was received undamaged, but in my opinion, it wasn't packed nearly as good as it should have been. Now, before we get into that, let me bring you up to speed on some things that are going on. We're still having issues with our movie editing. So this is going to be one long, unedited clip. So bear with me here. Uh, like I've told you, I never could get movie, Windows Movie Maker to work with a new camera. It kept saying the right codec wasn't installed. Well, I tried installing codec packs, and I tried installing a codec from Canon for this camera, and it still never would work. So I, I finally gave up on Movie Maker. Then I, I downloaded a file conversion thing to where I could convert the MOV files from this camera to MP4s. That still didn't make it happy. Uh, the old camera outputted files in AVI format, and I don't, I'm really starting to think the file extension has nothing to do with it. But what do I know? Like I said in the last video, I'm not very computer savvy i just know when they work and when they don't work and when they don't work i tend to get i tend to get irate and over the past couple of days of trying to make this thing work right i've been doing more cussing and throwing a fit than i've done in years and when it gets to that point it's time to stop well at any rate i tried downloading various video editing programs including some that some people recommended some of the ones that claim to be free, I was able to download them, but then it turns out they're not as free as they lead you to believe they are. You get to the point where, uh, for example, you want to save the project and it won't let you save it without buying a license, and then another program won't remove the watermark from the saved project without buying a license. And both times, I attempted to buy the program, but nothing would ever come up to let me make the transaction. So, if they won't, if they don't want to take my money, then you know what can I do? And besides, I'm kind of leery about buying something that I don't know 100% sure whether it's going to work for me or not. Uh, there was one program that somebody recommended. I can't even remember the name of it now, but I. Uh, was in the process of installing that and in the middle of the installation I, got, I heard the dreaded error message beep while I was looking at crap on Facebook and getting pissed off by what I was seeing on there and sure enough it wouldn't let me install that program because something or another was missing from the computer and at that point I just I just threw my hands up and said screw it no I said something besides that but it's it, it's not family friendly so I won't repeat it so I've decided we're gonna give the videos a rest I don't know how long it'll be before I get cranked back up again you know like I said when it gets to the point where I'm getting flustered and running into dead ends everywhere I go then it's time to give it a break I mean after all we went many many years without any YouTube videos from Radio TV Phono Nut and if it takes me a month or two to get my act together and start producing again, then I don't think the world's going to come to an end. And on that note, a 
viewer who watches my channel who is also on my Facebook friends list messaged me this morning and told me that he was in the IT business and he said his company is all the time getting computers in that are maybe no o older than a year old that customers want to get rid of them because they want to upgrade and uh, I think I use computers for 10 or 15 years. I use them until they're worn out, but anyway, he told me he was going to fix me up a tower and send it to me, which is which is very generous of him, and I appreciate that. So I think rather than continue to fight with my computer, which is obviously very jacked up, we're just going to wait until we get the other computer and then we'll do what has to be done from there. I'm sure everything will work nice and dandy whenever we get the other computer in and then I can just shove my old computer off to the side somewhere. But anyway, how they had this boxed, they had this piece of cardboard on top and we're just gonna have to deal with the airplane because I can't stop this and edit it. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. If I thought it was Bill Gates spying on me, I'd start cussing him. But no, they had the radio wrapped in this bubble wrap here. As you can see, not much to it. There was virtually no bubble wrap protection on the side here. And they had these various styrofoam pieces crammed in the sides. And like I said, packed better than some of the radios I've gotten, but it's a thousand wonders this radio didn't get cream puffed. Now what I would have done personally, I would have wrapped this more securely in bubble wrap and placed more material on the sides in the top and bottom, sealed that box up nice and tidy and then we would have taken a bigger box and lined it top, bottom, and all sides with several inches of packing material on all sides, double boxed it and sealed it up, and then, and then it would have stood a greater chance of getting, getting to its destination in one piece. But the seller seems to think that you know, this radio was painted, but I don't think so. Uh, as you can tell, someone has replaced the power cord. The chassis looks pretty clean. Any other time, we'd pull it apart and see what had been done to the inside, if anything. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Like I said, we can't stop this and edit it. It's gonna have to be one raw length of footage until we get our video editing capabilities back but I'm glad the radio arrived in good shape because if it hadn't that would have been something else to get me all fired up about and we don't need to get fired up no more but anyway if you don't see me on for a few weeks or a month or two or three then you'll know why it's because we still haven't gotten my act together over here yet so with that said, I'm going to cut it off from here, and hopefully more to come later.